Hello and welcome to this episode of the English Idioms series where we're going to look at the idiom to fall on hard times. As always we'll begin with the meaning and we'll look at some pronunciation features and finish with a few examples. To fall on hard times then. From the Cambridge Online Dictionary we get the meaning to lose your money and start to have a difficult life. So you can imagine those hard times are the difficult times that you have if you've lost everything. And if you think about this verb of falling, it's a downward motion, isn't it? We tend to think about rising up, but we fall down. So there are those two elements of this idiom that really give us that feeling of difficulty. So thinking about the pronunciation then. As always, we've got that possible week two, which is to, so to fall. And because fall ends in a consonant and on begins with a vowel, we are highly likely to link those two together. So fall on, fall on in connected speech there. And there's something else going on here with um, the word hard ending in a D and then the word times beginning with a T or a T sound, it's possible that you might hear a softening of that D. So instead of it being a very hard D on the end of hard, so if I try to say this with a very hard D, hard times, I have to kind of create a bit of a stop in between. So in connected fluent speech, you might hear a much softer version of that D, hard times. So that's something to listen out for. So if I string all of that back together, repeat after me. To fall on hard times. Again, to fall on hard times. Great. So if you want some extra practice with your uh, your t, then check out the links below. Um, there's a link there to the week forms series where you'll find uh, relevant videos. And if you're with me still so far, don't forget to hit like. And let's look at some examples then. So number one, they have fallen on hard times since he was fired. So in this sentence, since he was fired, we know that the firing happened in the past and it's the gap between when he was fired and now that they have fallen on those hard times. The hard times have happened in that period after the guy was fired. So that's what we've got here. The have fallen shows us about when the falling happens. In the second sentence, if this merger doesn't go ahead, we're all going to fall on hard times. So if you notice the element of the idiom that changes is that first word fall and we're combining it with going to going to fall is referring us to the future. So the have fallen in sentence one is here and now, but it includes time in the past. But right now they're they're having a hard time, whereas sentence two going to fall is signaling us to a fairly certain future. Um, dependent on that if, if this merger doesn't go ahead. So what we know here then is that if we use this fall on hard times, it's the word fall that we're changing to, to put this in different times. So over to you. Have a think about an example sentence that you could use to make use of this idiom to fall on hard times. Put it into a context, write that sentence in the comments below, and then I can give you some feedback about the grammar that you've used, about the context that you've created. The best way to get used to using these idioms in another language is to have a go. So be brave, leave me an idiom uh, example in the comments below. So if you found that useful, of course, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And if you like working with idioms, then check out the rest of the playlist. Um, it's becoming quite large now, so there are plenty of videos there to keep you occupied. And if you want some further pronunciation practice, go and check out the homepage. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day.